So we've got uh, only one all Central Texas matchup on our schedule. Uh, we have nine games this week. Oglesby will play Iredell in the Class 1A Division II regional final, state quarterfinals, whatever you want to call it. Um, both teams carry uh, 11 game winning streaks into this game. <clears throat> Oglesby had one fewer game. I guess maybe there was a game in there that got canceled or something. Um, who do you guys like, Tigers or Dragons? Well, uh, you know, I feel like uh, part of me wanted to go Iredale on this one because they have been, you know, such an such a upstart this season and and good have, story, yeah, uh, yeah, gotten their, their legs under them. But I feel like you know Oglesby is kind of a primed team. Um, had a good run last year, carried that right into this year. Haven't been beaten. Um, so I went with Ogles being my picks. DJ? I mean, this was really hard pick and, you know, I've been taking some risks this off season. I mean, postseason. <laughs> I'm ready for the off season. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hey, I've been taking man. some risks with my picks, but so I picked Iredell. I think, you know, yeah, Oglesby is, you know, top notch and they're going to, you know, come and do their job even if they struggle i mean they almost give up uh come back to methodist home um you know there was that one game where i think everybody upset me picked against them and then mm -hmm. i got an email mm -hmm. that was like you picked oglesby and you were right oh yeah you're gonna give away all your all your street cred in <laughs> oglesby <laughs> i know I'm, I'm taking a big valuable risk that's valuable property it's valuable like you know um uh, uh, emotional property um well, you know, the if the they prove me wrong, if they prove me wrong, they'll be able to hold that over me. So, yeah, yeah. Um, but I like Iredell, you know, for that fact that, you know, they did, they have picked up over the season. They, mm. they've they had to build up confidence mm. and toughness. And, you know, and I, I remember talking to Luis Guerreca earlier in the year when I wrote my feature on him for Hispanic Heritage Month. And he was talking about how that first game of the season against May, first of all, wasn't even on the schedule. They had to switch opponents because their opponent, um, if I remember correctly, canceled on them like the day of. So, um, you know, and, and they, I feel like they still held their own against a really good May team who's also in the playoffs. Um, and since then have kind of like figured it out. It's, you know, and that was the first game of the season. So, you know, and that that's at the point of the year where you you're it's OK if you lose games because it's you know, they don't count against you. Um, but yeah, I, I like where Iredell is and it's going to be a tough match. I mean, Oglesby is a tough team. <laughs> it's a I very like where Iredell team. is, too, because whenever I'm driving back from Lubbock, there's a Conoco station that has always has an accessible bathroom. Uh, you know, nice availability of products there. You can get gas, and then you're just an hour away. It's like exactly an hour away from Waco. Nice, nice. We need to start getting some of these uh, shout outs to sponsor us. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so on that note, HEB gas lasted me the whole trip yesterday. That was nice. almost six hours. Nice, good job. Uh, I'm going with Oglesby. Uh, before the season, when I was writing up my previews of a lot of the six man programs talking to Jeb Dixon. Uh, I was like, dude, you guys are ranked, you know, like second in the state, you know, you know, what do you think about that? And, uh, and he was like, <clears throat> you know, he was sort of diminishing, not diminishing, but he was just downplaying it. Um, like, you know, Oh, some of those like Richland Springs and those guys that, you know, sh uh, are the traditional powers. He, he felt like they should be ranked ahead of, Oglesby and I think all they've done is gone up out and lived up to that ranking this year they've they've played really really well Kyler Fawcett is kind of their bell, bell cow guy he has like 42 rushing touchdowns on the year um but and I think Iredell may be a little more you know spread it out in terms of their production you know with several guys but uh even though Kyler Fawcett's kind of their stud I think they've got some other some other pretty good players, including a kid, EJ of Avilis, who uh, was at Morgan and was a super syntax kid at Morgan. So uh, he moved there to Oglesby. So um, yeah, I, I like Oglesby, but I agree that I think it could be a, a pretty good, fun central Texas game. 